Hello viewers, welcome to my channel. I'm Asham Ali Khan. So now I'm going to start the next question in auditing. That is differences between internal control, internal audit and external audit. And next differences between internal control and internal check. Last video I have explained you the differences between internal check and internal audit. Similarly, internal control and internal audit. These are the differences I've explained already in the last video. So if you have not watched, I suggest you to go to the playlist of my channel. Select the subject auditing. Watch the video regarding the differences. Be acquainted, be thorough on these topics. Now, before starting the differences between internal audit and external audit, take a screenshot of the points written on the board. Then I'll explain each and every point in detail. Come on. Now I'm starting the differences between internal audit and external audit. In the last two, three videos, I have completely explained the meaning of internal audit. The audit which is conducted within the organization by the staff of the organization as a service to the management. An external audit is the audit which is conducted by an independent professional auditor, outside auditor. So what are the main differences? In examination, very frequently, a question will be asked regarding explain the differences between internal audit and external audit. One by one difference, I will explain you. In internal audit, the auditor is less independent in reporting. The internal auditor is comparatively less independent. He is not completely independent because the auditor is an employee of the management, employee of the organization. So the internal auditor is appointed by the management. So always the internal auditor has to do whatever is dictated by the management. So he is not having complete independence. So comparatively, the internal auditor is less independent, whereas the external auditor or statutory auditor, he is called external auditor or statutory auditor, he is having full independence because he is not appointed by the management. He is an independent person, he is an outsider who is appointed by the shareholders. So comparatively, external auditor is more independent internal auditor is less independent first difference second it is prepared by the, it is prepared by the staff of the business itself that means the audit is conducted by an employee of the organization by a staff member of the organization he is not an outsider whereas in case of external audit it is done by a professionally qualified person the law has specified what are the qualifications of an auditor. So the external auditor must possess the professional qualification. He is an outsider. Next one, the management decides the functions of internal audit. What are the functions the internal auditor should perform that is completely explained by the management? The scope of work of internal auditor will be decided by the management. But in case of external auditor, the functions will be decided by the statute, by the law. The management cannot dictate the external auditor regarding the scope. The specific legal enactment decides the functions of statutory auditor. Like in India, we have Companies Act. The Companies Act 2013 have specified the functions of external auditor. Management cannot interfere. Next one, the management appoints the internal auditor. Just now I told you, <clears throat> the staff member, the employee of the organization will be selected, will be appointed by the management. Whereas in case of external auditor, it is appointed by the related statute, the law. The Companies Act has stated that who should appoint the external auditor, how the appointment of external auditor should be done. That is decided by statute, by law not by the management. 
the it starts as soon as the transactions are accomplished so internal audit will begin as soon as the transaction is completed whereas this external audit will start only after the completion of final accounts when financial statements are prepared then external audit will begin now internal auditor need not possess any specified qualification there are no specific qualification required for internal auditor whereas specific professional qualifications are specified by statute for external auditor so the statutory auditor should have qualification as per the companies act so companies act has given the provisions what are the qualifications of an auditor next internal audit is not compulsory <clears throat> internal audit is not compulsory it is for the service to the management if the management decides they will implement they will conduct the internal audit otherwise it is not compulsory whereas for external audit statutory audit is compulsory by law next management has the right to remove the internal auditor the management has the right to appoint and the management has the right to remove the internal auditor but the external auditors can be removed only by the taking the permission from the central government only after taking the permission from central government the external auditor can be removed so statutory auditor can be removed after getting approval from the central government now internal auditor is responsible to submit the report to management after completing internal audit the audit report should be submitted by internal auditor to the management because internal auditor is giving the service to the management whereas external auditor statutory auditor has to give the report to the shareholders not to the management then last one internal audit ca auditor can suggest the management regarding the improvement of business efficiency because he is the employee <clears throat> the internal auditor is an employee so he can give the suggestions to the management regarding the improvement of the efficiency of the organization he can suggest whereas the external auditor cannot give any suggestions to the management the external auditor simply have to make the report and submit the report to the shareholders it cannot give any suggestions to the management regarding the functioning of the organization so these are the differences between internal audit and external audit or statutory audit remember external audit is nothing but statutory audit that's it the next question is regarding the differences between internal control and internal check again in examination question will be asked write the differences between internal control and internal check both are different now what are the differences first of all definition what is the definition of internal control it it is best regarded as indicating the whole system of controls it is regarded as the system of all the controls in the business financial or otherwise the controls should not only be financial but non financial controls are also there established by the management in the conduct of business including internal audit internal check and any other forms of control that means these internal controls are implemented by the management implemented by the management so that by the man to conduct the business why it is implementing to efficiently conduct the business including internal audit internal check and any other forms of control this is the definition for internal control now internal check internal check refers to organization of office duties in such a way as to prevent or disclose both errors and frauds so it is the organization of official duties that means assigning the duties among the staff members so that the fraud and error should be prevented the main purpose of internal check is assignment of duties to the staff member 
in order to prevent the fraud and errors that is the definition of internal check it has wider scope if we compare the scope internal control will have a wide scope because it includes all financial controls and non-financial controls so it includes internal check internal audit and any form of controls so scope of internal control is very wide but the scope of internal check is very very narrow it is simply assigning the duties to the staff members to reduce the fraud and error next one its strategies are implemented at corporate level that means the strategies of internal control will be decided strategically by the top management by the top management this internal control system will be implemented whereas the internal check strategies are implemented at organizational levels at lower levels simply we can say internal check implemented at lower level of management internal control will be decided by the top management next one is it is more expensive comparatively internal control system system is very wide it is more expensive more amount more uh, funds should be invested in internal control but this internal check is less expensive next one is it controls financial and non-financial aspects all the aspects whether it is financial or non-financial are covered under internal control but here it controls internal aspects only which are concerned with organizational plans already organization has made the plans how to effectively implement the plans that is the only scope of internal check next its main objective is to ensure the commitment of managerial policies and other factors the intention of internal control is whatever management policies are there that are that should be implemented effectively efficiently that is the objective of internal control whereas its main objective is to ensure that no employee should have control over business transaction and accounting books that means there should be division of work one person should be assigned one type of activity the other person the other activity should be assigned to another person example the sales invoices are made by one person but recording of sales transaction will be done by another person the same person should not do both the activities of the same transaction not one single person should do the complete transaction the transaction should be divided and assigned to different persons that is the objective of internal check next one it acts as a tool of generating mis reports management information system reports so main objective why this internal control system is applied is it will generate the mis reports whereas it acts as day to day summary reports for seniors the internal check will make summaries day to day transaction summaries and reports it to the senior managers last one it acts its agenda is to fix responsibilities <clears throat> the main internal control system the agenda is to fix responsibility and division of work in order to avoid duplication or manipulation there should not be any duplication of work there should not be any manipulation of work the complete system should be controlled that is the main agenda of internal control whereas the agenda of internal check is is to prevent the internal system from fraud and errors the main concentration of internal check is we have to make a system through which the fraud and error should be prevented should be minimized should be stopped that is the main agenda of internal check so in this video i have explained you about the differences between internal audit and external audit and the differences between internal control and internal check so this is the end of unit number 3 i have explained three topics internal control internal check and internal audit inshallah next unit i'll start in the next video but if you are satisfied with my lecture give a like to this video share my channel in your group in your friend circles so that more students can watch the video and enhance the knowledge 
I have already started one more channel by name Hans Accounting Institute for IGCSE students. Do visit that channel also. A number of knowledgeable videos I have uploaded there also. Watch the videos, subscribe that second channel also. Inshallah, we will continue the next topic in the next video.